Enoch Factory Crew Vlog Entry 266. Today we're going to be I'm going to be telling you the survival story of Brian Hotmail. I will also be telling the answers to the true crime claims once I'm finished with the survivor story. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Most of those who faced the Zodiac Killer never lived to tell about it, except for Brian Hartmill. Around the time the Zodiac started terrorizing Northern California, California, <laughs> California, Hartmill was a student at Pacific Union College. On September 27, 1969, he took a friend named Salisa Shepard on a picnic besides Lake Berryessa. The two were lying on a blanket when the man appeared. He was wearing a black hood and a shirt with a symbol like a gunshot on the front, later known as Zodiac's trademark. Hartmel was stabbed eight times. Shepard was stabbed as many as 20 times. Although Shepard died in the hospital, Hartmel survived. He is now married with children and works as a probate attorney in Southern California. He also worked as a consultant on the 2000 film Zodiac. Very interesting. Like, I know that the Zodiac killer killed those with different Zodiac signs, and there was even a fake one who just shot people and was lucky enough to get different, like Zodiac different zodiacs to the people he killed but I never knew about the one survivor now that that's out of the way let's get on to the true crime quiz if you guys don't remember you were well it was matched a politician to his crime so I'm going I'm gonna go through the list and say the politician as well as his crime Let's get right to it. No, po politician number one, Ted Kennedy. He left, his crime was leaving the scene of a crash. Politician number two, David per Perez. He improperly, he, his crime was improperly sharing classified information. Politician number three, De Dennis Hastert, his crime was illegal, illegally structuring bank transcripts to pay millions to quash sexual misconduct allegations. And the last politician, Anthony Weiner, his crime was sending sexual text messages to a minor. So... Let me know if you guys got any of those right down in the comments. I don't really like politician number four. I mean, it's a minor. You don't you don't do that stuff. That's not good. But yeah. Next time we will be doing the girl in the cupboards. Sounds interesting, but you never know what it's about. Be sure to give the video a like, comment down below, also hit the subscribe and the bell notification so you're made aware of new videos. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, and friendliness. Bye guys.